Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing predictions for Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. Yes. So we have, what, five matches? Five confirmed, well, four. four confirmed and one speculative. Yeah, and that one is the tag team title match. Yeah, we're just assuming it's going to be uh, Titus Worldwide versus The Bar. Yeah. Let's get started. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll start with the uh, that tag team match that we think might happen. Yeah. Um, All right, so Titus Worldwide has three victories over the bar. It's true. There's no way they're winning the tag team. There's titles. zero chance because why would they put the chi- why would they put the titles on them leading into WrestleMania? That's stupid. Yeah, which that, that kind of brings up an interesting point. What, what the hell are they gonna do? Are they gonna have the revival? They might have. Or they gonna have the four way? Yeah, that maybe. About. That's true. Or they're gonna bring up like the authors Those of pain, pain early. Oh, no, that would be silly. Why? Oh, well, I guess if they're gonna yeah. do it for the draft. Yeah. Um, but that was yeah. Pause. Bar all the way. Yeah, if that match even happens. It, but it's, it's, it's they got to have some more matches. Five matches not going to be enough. Well, because... With the pre-show. Unless the, one of these matches happens on the pre-show. Well, I was going to say the the Elimination Chamber match is probably going to be at least 45 minutes long. Yeah. If not longer. Yeah. And then the women's one will be similar length. That's true. Um, but still... Got, Figure an hour for each one. Promos and all that crap. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So maybe it won't be as bad as we had kind of figured in what terms do you mean? of time. Oh, I kind of figured. No, I mean needing to fill out time. Oh, oh, and then we have the Ronda Rousey contract. Yeah, that'll take about 15 minutes, too. Who knows? If not longer. That might start to set up for whatever she's going to do at WrestleMania, too. It's true. Okay, because apparently the speculation going in is Triple H and Stephanie versus Ronda Rousey and... A mystery opponent. That's that's still the steadfast. Uh, that's what people are speculating. Yeah, I would imagine Stephanie would be the one conducting the contract signing. Probably. So makes sense. Or maybe well, Kurt too. Probably. Well, I know, but Stephanie yeah. would be there. Yeah. Or, ordinarily, I don't think she would. No. Yeah, that's true. Um. All right. I, so. I wonder uh, the reaction that she's going to get. R- Rousey. Yeah. A very good one. You think? Yeah. It's the wrestlers who don't like her, not the... Well, I don't necessarily think they the don't like The wrestlers aren't just... happy with the situation, right. not Which the fans. I understand, but... Yeah. I but think I... her reaction will be good. All right. Certainly less confusing than, <laughs> than the Royal Rumble. Pointing at the sign? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Point at the sign. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so up next we have Matt Hardy... The Woken One. Woken Warrior. Well, right? no, no. He has Woken Warriors. Uh, he is the Woken Fair Warrior. enough. Um, and against Bray Wyatt. You think this is ever going to go anywhere? No. But Bray Wyatt won at the 25th anniversary special. So Matt needs to win yeah, this Yeah, yeah, no. You're, you're 100% right. Yeah. So we're going to go with Matt Hardy. So you should do another House of Horrors match. But it be Seth Rollins versus Elias in Mirrors all over the place <laughs> <laughs> i don't know who i'm attacking it would be fantastic am i hitting myself yeah all right the, but the, wow it, we gotta eventually end up at the hardy compound or something like yeah, that yeah you're gonna do assume. something but, I, it's probably gonna be a mania yeah I so i would assume do. they'll have to start branching off and maybe adding well senior benjamin and well, that's not really adding anything. No, that's but just you... them being there when they do stuff. Yeah, but you're doing different stuff. I don't know. I, I think because now he has full control of the broken it's... universe, so you got it. You might as well use it. It's true, but I don't know how, how what kind of lengths they're willing to go. It's true. They won't have pyros. It's true. But I mean, like there was in... a sign. I think it was. Yeah, I miss night. pyros yeah. or something like that. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's hard to really be interested in this Matt at Hardy this point. Ever. Anything Bray Wyatt does, really. That's your very strong opinion that's, on that. It's a very <laughs> accurate opinion. <laughs> All right. Oh, so uh, up next, we got Asuka versus Nia Jax. If Nia Jax wins, she'll be inserted into whichever title match that Asuka will be in at WrestleMania. Yeah, that is the final uh, decision, right? We're what? Not- doing it she'll be inserted into the raw match and stuff like that because i think kurt angle had bobbled the oh the words yeah, well, yeah. he doesn't know what he's talking about the man's drunk <laughs> um but yeah so yeah well he was having trouble like reciting whatever yeah, it was that's true um so 
It's either Asuka re- keeps her streak going or she has another obstacle in her title match at WrestleMania. Now, I would have said there's no chance in hell that they would screw up Asuka's streak at a B-level pay-per-view. However, remember Charlotte's pay-per-view streak? I think that ended at Fastlane last year. Or the year before. Yeah, it was like I think it was last year. It would have had to have been last year, yeah. I think. I think it was fast lane. Why didn't she lose? Her pay per view streak. Remember she won all No, but who did she lose to? Oh, who did she lose to? Bailey. Oh yeah, that's right. They made a big stink about it yeah. too. I don't I know. Don't, I know it's kind of comparing oranges to apples, but yeah. Cause you never know. I don't, I would imagine that Asuka's gonna carry that streak going into a title reign. Right? That makes sense. <sighs> Because, cause, like, we're thinking Oscar's going to SmackDown. Right. Because Ronda Rousey's on Raw. Yeah. So, do you really oh, want to see Oscar versus Nia Jax versus Charlotte? No. Because Nia Jax really doesn't fit into no, I know. any I mean, title match. Be scared for Charlotte's life. Like, when. <laughs> I, I, I cringed a little bit during the match. I was like, oh, no. Bad things are going to happen after what happened when we went to uh, Raw, where Charlotte almost got killed by Nia Jax. There's what? That she, like, dropped her. Right? Yeah, on her head. Um, yeah. Granted, that was over a, almost a year ago, so yeah. things do change. But it's true. Uh, yeah, no, I, I would have no interest in that. And my fear is Asuka going to SmackDown and winning the title from Charlotte, mm-hmm. and she'll kind of take, like, a almost like a Brock Lesnar type thing where she's not going to. Do much, and you have everybody else battle out for number one contendership. With Asuka? Yeah. No, I don't think that's You don't think happen. so? No. She'll probably yeah. wrestle just as much as she does now. Yeah. It's just still be a top talent that's competing for yeah, it. I guess that's true. So I'll swap back between Becky, Naomi, and Charlotte. Yeah. Um, so th- that would be a better situation. Yeah, I guess that's true. Um, but yeah, no, I, I don't think Asuka's going to win unless they do something. You mean you don't think Nia's going to win? Yeah, that's what I mean. All right, um, so we're going with Asuka. Unless we're... they do something where like Nia wins or by disqualification or count out or something stupid like that. I don't think. Well, because it's 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 if she wins, it doesn't matter. It's not like a title, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah they wouldn't true. do anything screwy because that won't. That will affect the outcome Mm -hmm. whereas with the title match it wouldn't affect the outcome fair enough Um, but so if she loses then if nia Jax wins that's it no 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 no, yeah i'm saying if nia Jax loses and oscar wins and charlotte uh, challenges charlotte then Mm -hmm. we still have the number one contendership on raw up in the air yes so that leads to the women's elimination chamber match it's true so what happens i believe this happened once before what where somebody had attacked a person in the elimination chamber. I think Edge did it, right? And the person got injured, and they were inserted into the match. Uh, not as far as I know. No? Could have sworn that happened. It's but anyway, possible. But... What happens if Nia Jax takes out, you know, Sonya Deville or something like, like that after she loses her match? They don't have another woman on the roster to put in. I mean, they do, technically. And they Dana insert, Brooke, you mean? Yeah. And they insert Nia Jax into the chamber. Um, I don't see that happening. I think they kind of like the um, absolution stable yeah it seems like it's true yeah um and they're not gonna do it to mickey Mickey because because she's she's got that thing with alexa Alexa, yeah so i don't really see that as an option yeah um but it seems pretty clear that there's a good chance that alexa could be dropping this title yeah unless mickey james helps her return it retain it Mm -hmm. whereas it's the two of them at the end they get rid of everybody else and then she turns on Mickey, yeah, that'd be the safe thing to do. I mean, um, should we expect a Nia versus Alexa match though at Mania? Mm-mm. I feel like they've been building to this, but yes, but I also think that they kind of stopped mm-hmm. and started and then stopped and then started. Yeah, because um, really, we really should get like a Bailey versus Sasha. Match I was or gonna say like I'm that. gonna pick Sasha to win, mm-hmm. and this way we can get Sasha Bailey at WrestleMania. Oh, she stood strong, tall on the uh, Go Home Show. She won the match. <laughs> yeah, but no. that doesn't. She got beat down as soon as the that's match true. Ended. Um, and then Bailey's story going in, if Oscar goes on to challenge Charlotte, Charlotte yeah, is that I could beat you. Right, I'm going to beat you at WrestleMania. That's true. So I think that would be the best way to go. Um, I'm gonna say that Alexa's gonna retain. All right, just because somehow, some way, 
she finds a way. It's true. That's why she was the best wrestler 2017, according to us. Was she number one? I think so. I think, yeah, you're probably right. Yeah. Because it was, I think we picked her. Miz, the yeah, Miz were number the top one and two. Ones. Yeah. So, and she definitely deserves the top spot. If we didn't pick it, we're idiots. Probably well, idiots. You are idiots, but that doesn't mean anything. All right. Oh yeah, this so, this is so a now tough we one. have the uh, the men's elimination chamber chamber match, which includes Braun Strowman, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, Finn Balor, John Cena, Elias, and I think that was all of them. Did you I miss said one? Seth Rollins, right? I did. I said Finn Balor. Yeah. I said Elias. He said the Miz. <laughs> I didn't say the Miz. I think the Miz is in there. It too. doesn't matter. There's seven men. First time ever. Yeah. Um, so I three guess three people start out. Yeah, I was gonna say they're yeah. gonna start. The um, Miz is no. The Miz is number one. Elias is number seven. That's all yeah. we know so far. Um, Roman's gonna win. <laughs> it's really, really it's so not a, sad. It's not really not a whole lot of other things going on here. Um, but what if he doesn't? So, <laughs> hold on. How about instead of picking who we know is gonna win, we just pick who Who's, we want to win. Yeah, or who we think is the best person to win. I think there's only one person besides Roman. John Cena? No. No. Are you sure? Yes. The Undertaker's going to come through the ring and pull John Cena underneath. <laughs> and that's going to be the end. Um, you know what I want them to do? What? Make Elias's pod bigger and have him perform a concert in there the entire time. There's a good chance you could have a li- <laughs> live microphone. He is going on last. Yeah, yeah. Give him something to do. They might actually do that. Hello, I am Elias. <laughs> oh, look at look at that pin attempt. So close. <laughs> commentating Commentary. from the like pin. Scott the Steiner and commentating. Oh, jeez. All right. So since I guess we'll pick, you're talking about Balor, right? No, talking about Braun. Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. You want <laughs> Granted, him to... he won, he won the gauntlet, so he's not gonna win. Yeah, probably not. No, I, I, Balor would be good too. Yeah, but he, him, and the Miz are gonna have a program at Mania, which would be nice. But we also heard that there's a chance that Braun's gonna be facing. The yeah, Miz. This is, yeah. There's a chance that Seth could be the mystery person with Rousey versus Triple H and Stephanie. That would make that sense. That would be very appropriate. Um, Kurt Angle could be that one technically too. Yeah. Um, Braun but, could be as well. But yeah, the the funny thing is going into this match, there's a lot of potential feuds up in the air. Right. Like, there's a potential for a Cena versus Finn match. Mm-hmm. Um, there's the... Obviously, Roman is going to face Lesnar. Um, Braun could face The Miz. He could face, you know, Finn. Yes. If, if, if Cena yeah. ends up going elsewhere. Mm-hmm. That kind of thing. Right. Um, and then Seth kind of is just there. He's there. Yeah. He, he, gets, well, he, he has the one option that's right. it. There's yeah. no other thing because their plan obviously was for him to be in the tag team titles. Yeah, because I don't remember who was the throw-in for this because I think Jason Jordan and Seth were supposed to be the two last ones in the chamber. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't think Dr- Jordan was going to be involved. I guess, yeah. I, I figured that they were just going to, they only Which threw would Seth been... in there right. because of the fact that he wasn't. No, I think they changed their minds before the throw-in had to be Elias, right? Yeah, I would think so. Elias and maybe... Maybe Miz. Miz, or, yeah, or Finn, who knows. Well, I would assume Miz more because, you know, he is a champion. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. But. um, All right, so you're going with Braun? Yeah, man. Ride the Braun Strowman train. All right. Braun Strowman train. <laughs> anyway. See I'll, beat down Beastie Boy. I'll go, I'll go with Finn. <laughs> Just because. But. Uh, well, because yeah. I was thinking, you know how they made a big stink about Vince supposedly was down on Finn. Mm-hmm. And because it was originally supposed to be him against Brock at the at the Rumble. Yeah. Maybe that was kind of like a, a swerve. And they're going to put that at Mania instead of at the Rumble. Okay. What the hell is um, Roman going to do that? He's going to kill the Undertaker. <laughs> going to face John Cena. Oh, yeah. Why not? That should have been the uh, Mania match anyway. They they, they they said it was a Mania quality match. I, well, yeah, it was a decent That's what match. they said. Yeah. That's what they said. Mania event quality match. Anyway. So, yeah. I, I don't know. There's really nothing else. No, I know. We're just trying to make something to talk about because yeah. we both know Roman's going to win. Yeah. So. But. But, yeah. Yeah. Hopefully it's a decent show. I, I like gimmick matches. So. Yeah. 
And this is a particularly interesting one. Mm -hmm. It's like Hell in a Cell is kind of getting boring, TLC. Well, the problem is, is that we already know when the pay-per-views are during the year. So it's not like there's a reason to build toward, you know, if you're going to have a feud, then all of a sudden go, you know what? You guys are going to be in a Hell in a Cell match rather than, oh, Hell in a Cell is going to come up. We know who's going to fight in it. It's true. So it kind of takes the something out of it. A little bit. Yeah. So right. But it doesn't matter. It's true. Yep. So that is our Fast Lane preview and predictions video. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.